today I'd like to introduce our speaker today, Mary Ann Burroughs. She will be evaluated by Sandy Conway. Mary Ann will be giving speech number eight from the Competent Communicator Manual, the second time around. The project is called Get Comfortable with Visual Aids. The speaker is to present a speech that uses two or more visual aids. Visual aids help the audience understand and remember what they hear. The visual aids selected must be appropriate for the message and audience and be displayed correctly with ease and confidence. The name of the speech is Props. The length of the speech is five to seven minutes. Please welcome Mary Ann. Toastmasters and welcome guests. Did you know that the word prop is actually short for the word property? And it represents anything that an actor uses to help engage his audience and get his point across. Well, props can be just about anything. They could be a table, I could sit on the edge of the table. Or it could be an overhead projection. Or some type of a chart. Or something that I actually physically carry on stage with me and interrelate with. Now besides helping to engage your audience, it has, the, using props adds texture to your words and dimension. Most of you have heard of the quote, um, that a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, a prop mm -hmm. is worth a thousand words. Anytime you add a new dimension to your words, you're actually drawing your audience in as well as giving them an opportunity to remember what you say at a deeper level. So if I was going to um, use, if I was a business person and I wanted to share with you a story about how our business is coming along, I might use some hats. I might have a baseball hat, and that could represent the beginning of the company. When the company was new and excited and there was a lot of adrenaline pumping into that company to give the company its energy to move forward and to develop into a company. And I might use a top hat. A top hat, I would talk about how our company has gotten established, how it's a secure company now, it's making money, things are going well, and then develop that. Then. I might use a safari hat to describe the potential of our company, the uncharted territories where our company can go from here to develop our already good company. So as you can see, this presents a linear experience as well as each one of those hats leaves a memory in the minds of the, of the audience so that they can remember more what the speaker has to say. Now another advantage to using props is if you are shy and quiet and you feel like you're standing up here naked on public square, if you have a, yeah, if you have a prop, you can talk with a prop and the focus comes away from you and is directed on the prop. Another way the props can be very beneficial is that it actually helps the speaker remember what they're going to say next. I have an introductory, an introduction, and then I have a prop, and then I have another prop, I immediately remember what it is I wish to speak about again. So they can be a benefit not only for your audience, but for you, the speaker, as well. Now, one of the things with life is there's always downsides to things, right? Well, that's true with using props as well. Now, for instance, if you were going to use some type of a projection, the light on your camera may not work that day or the hookup for the computer for your PowerPoint. Just doesn't work today. Are you prepared to continue with your speech even if it doesn't work? Or you may have a chart. Make sure the chart has letters that are large enough for everyone in the room to see. And make sure they're adhered to the chart. One time I gave a, a speech and some of the letters started falling off on the ground. Mm -hmm. But remember, this is our this is our laboratory. This is a place for us to practice and experiment new things. Much better to have my letters fall off my chart in a Toastmaster meeting than while I'm giving a, a, a very 
professional presentation. So use this as an opportunity to practice. So you may be convinced that props is a good thing to use now. So where do you find props? Well, one thing you can do is look around your house for interesting and unusual things. It's a souvenir from some place you've traveled before. I got this in India. I could write an entire speech around the prop. Or maybe I want to talk about a meditation and I want to use this as a centering place. So the same prop can be used for different purposes. Another thing you can do is as you're walking through your daily life, keep your eyes open for unusual and interesting things. I was at a variety store one day, up to the counter, ready to pay for my, my things that I had picked out. And there was a little box with this little chicken in it. I picked it up and thought, well, this is kind of an interesting little dude. And I squeezed it. I thought, wow, that's, that's interesting. I think I'll purchase it. And I took him home, and eventually I wrote a speech called, What Came First, the Chicken or the Egg? And with the sounds and the character, it drew the audience to listen to what I was saying. <laughs> Another thing you can do is go to a dollar store or a mark store, look around, find interesting things there. Now there's one of two ways you can do this. You can either purchase items, take them home and incorporate them into a speech eventually, or write a speech and then go to the store and find a few items for only a dollar or two that can really add a little bit of dimension and character to your speaking ability. So fellow Toastmasters and welcome guests, definitely start to incorporate props in your speeches. Give your audience all you can give. Make them want to hear what you have to say. It's a wonderful, fun, and exciting way to add excitement to your speech.